Now the North Dakota, South Dakota, and Canada, where we still have some nice big expanses of grassland prairie habitat. So the further up in that kind of habitat area you go, the more likely it is to be able to see a shorter down um, during the afternoon.
transmitters on Snowy Owls. So along the eastern coast, um, they have Snowy Owls coming down over there this year. And we are trapping them at airports in dangerous situations where they're not supposed to be. And some of those trapped birds that are going to the radio transmitters on them. <laughs> Did we get a little bit too much water? I don't know. <laughs> Um, and so that, so it's Project Snowstorm. If you want to look up where snowy owls are hanging out on the East Coast, you can go to that Project Snowstorm webpage, um, and they have the locations from the transmitters on that webpage. And they're finding very, very interesting things as to how far they're traveling, where they're spending time hunting. Um, they'll have really good information on how long those birds survive, if they're able to head back up north. Um, or, or not, and so that will be that will some really good information for finding out um, new things on the China Valley. We live in Iowa, we do a lot of um, sort of extra things for him. So he will get his West Nile virus vaccine pretty soon. He looks forward to that every spring. Um, and we decided that July in Iowa is that's not really good for snowy owls, and so. Um, we have one pen that we use for our swans and our pelicans, animals that come in the wintertime that need to have it warm. And so we have an insulated pen that we're able to eat. And so in the summertime, we end up doing the opposite. We put an air conditioner in the window and put our snowy owl in there. And he has about 78, 80 degrees all summer long. Um, the other benefit of the air conditioner is that it takes the humidity out of the air.